Hi everyone, Solomon's Tales, continuing on. Solomon, ah, you watch the other ones, you know where we are. So, Solomon drops his bike off of the room. He digs out his pocket, what cash, he's got about, I don't know, he's got about 20,000 baht in his pocket. And he thinks the room's always open, really need a safe, there's not good carrying this much around with him. Anyway, he takes out about 15,000 baht, gets a little bag, puts it in. There's a couple of little places in the room you could possibly hide money. And he stashes it up under the desk, jams it in the back of the drawer at the back, hides it. I think they'll be right there. Doesn't even lock the room. Just <laughs> so he hasn't got loads of money in his pocket. And uh, right, leaving the bike, out he goes. He's put another polo shirt on. Didn't bother with the shower this time. And he's thrown his jeans on. He's looking half reasonable, attractive man, out on the town. Maybe he's going to misbehave tonight. Pops around the corner, a few girls up in the bar, waving. Jumps on the song tail, dolphin around about down to Beach Road, all the way along, 100 metres before Walking Street. Press the button, jumps out. So he's just walking along, 100 metres towards Walking Street, Beach is on his right. There's a load of open bars there. Again, not sure if they're still there. Loads of, loads of bars and you walk past there and all the girls are screaming. Into Walking Street. Goes to his favorite go-go. One of his favorite, he has three go-go's that he classed as his favorite that he enjoyed. Uh, first one was Frozen the go-go. Actually, that might be four go-go's. He goes in the fo uh, Frozen a go-go, which is really small. Again, don't know if it's still there. Good music, good vibe in there. Goes in there, Heineken. And he's chilling. Here, yeah, usual story, Mama stands over, girls are all over, and he's like, ah, not, not too early in the evening. Go go bar, too expensive, but get a Heineken in there. Anyway, has that, comes out. Um, down the lane, what's up a go go? That's an interesting one. Hope that's still there. Goes in there, has a drink, comes out. It's not why he's doing the go-go's tonight, but anyway, around the corner, happier go-go. That's a good one. Hope that's still there. Don't know. Drink, comes out, along, stops in it. There's a beer bar there, both sides, where you can sit and watch the world go by. Drives it, drops in there. Gets a drink, sits at the front, there's just people watching. Time's going on, you know, this is like ticking away. Right, finish, comes out of there, cross the road, under the escalator at the back, Amazon a go go. Guy who owns that, Alan, I think it is, from Newcastle Way at the time. Lovely guy. He's in the future of Solomon's Tales. Anyway, so we drink there good time he's right I've had enough of go-go bars and he's he's had four or five drinks now he's fed up a beer vodka he thinks where can I sit down now and chill for the evening get a few vodkas music bamboo bar back up walking street towards the beach you get to the end where the big sign is over if it's still there turn right on that little connecting road and on your right is bamboo bar this bar is known for girls that don't, maybe don't work in bars, or freelancers. They're just there, picking up boyfriends. And girls that have finished the bar work maybe, or anyway, you know all that stuff. He goes in there, oldish woman, the band playing. There's not, there's quite a few tables, but it gets busy. So you get this oldish lady comes over, grabs you, and she puts you where she wants. As it happens, it was quite busy. There's a table right in the middle pretty much right in the middle where all the tables drags him across dumps him on this table no one else on the table four seat table oh okay but this pillar I seem to think there's a pillar there and it looks to his left is the band and he looks to the right there's the road out there the bar in front of him and he thinks that's perfect vodka red bull or vodka lipo because the red bull was too expensive the little lipo again vodka and the vodkas are like two three shots 
and it's about 100 baht, 120 baht because you're paying for the band. So quite expensive. Uh, vodka. Oh, it just slipped down. So nice. Another one. <laughs> He's that. Here we go, vodka. Solomon likes the vodka. Um, and he's minding his own business. You get the old freelancer would come across and sort of say hi and hoping that he would invite them to sit down and buy him drinks. And he's like, nah, nah, nothing. He's looking, nah, nah, just. <laughs> it's a bit like a meat market, this bar. You know, in every country in the world, you've got a disco nightclub bar and single guys and girls, they're all just looking for casual acquaintances or whatever it's a bit like that so and Solomon's sort of you know he's thinking anyway second vodka comes music's great in walk three girls I can see them walk in and the woman is there's a fair chance looking at the table situation that she's going to dump them on his table and he's like so he's looking at he's studying these girls as they come in First girl, really skinny, size six, size eight, Sh shortish than some of the girls, short curly brown hair. Girl behind, wearing sort of um, gym, what are they called? Uh, you know, these the women's trousers, that the leggings, but they're really tight and the stripe down the side. Looks like a gym pair of, and a sort of vest matching top so she looked like athletic slightly taller really good looking and then the third girl she had a bob haircut light no no it was dark brown hair with red streaks and a blue streak but her hair was totally different from all the other Thai girls but she had a face look different like a Chiang Mai girl, the eyes, her eyes were different. He could, it, it, he's, he's like, yeah. It's like, like Chiang Mai girl, but dressed in like a black top and uh, black jeans, couldn't work out. Looked about a size eight, size 10. Really pretty. Sure enough, this woman brings the three girls over, plonks them on Simon's table. And he's thinking to himself, oh no, this could get really expensive, or not. Girls sit down, they order their own drinks. Within seconds they're like, hmm, who are you? What's your name? Oh, Solomon's nice, he said, tells them. I'm Solomon. <laughs> and uh, girl with the short curly hair, her name's... Apple. Next girl um, is called Knock, the athletic one. Those two names might ring a few bells with you. Hmm. And third girl, also called Knock. This third girl has never been in any of my videos. The other two, maybe. So, uh, yeah, chatting to them. Seemed nice enough. And uh, so, they're drinking, they're watching the uh, music, listening to the music, chatting away, and the girls are chatting to themselves and also chatting to Solomon. Solomon's a couple more vodkas later. The girls are like, okay, we're off. They call the woman over, pay the bill, and they all split the bill between them. Anyway, Apple and Knock, the athletic one, get up and say, bye, and off they go. This other girl, Knock, red hair, blue stripe, Bob, stays. That sounds like, you're not going with them? She goes, no, I want to get to know you. And he's like, hmm, okay. Well, yeah, nice girl. He thinks, okay, this is my cue, I have to buy her a drink. Now he's had a few vodkas now. So orders another drink, another vodka, and the vodka seemed to be getting bigger. They chit-chat away. 
and time to moving on now, you know, it's getting on a bit. Someone is like, oh, I've had enough drink now. I think time to crash. And this knock said, yeah, I agree. So Simon, and up, pays the bill. And he said, nice to meet you. He, he thinks, no, I'm not, he's, nah, he's too many drinks now. He's like, he said, great to meet you. She said, no, I'll, I'll, um, I'll come for a, a, a ride with you. I like, what? And he says, I'm not really um, after a girlfriend. He said, he, he, he said, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not really in the market for anything. You know, I'm here on other stuff. And she says, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, well, you know, I don't want, and she's like, it's okay if she says I know. And she said that word, I know. And Solomon's like a bit drunk and he didn't twig what she just said. It didn't go in his head. And he's like, okay, you want somewhere to crash, no problem. Thinking, you know, you just another one of the girls just crash in my room, whatever. She said, I know. I should have set huge alarm bells off. <laughs> anyway, pays the bill. Out they go. And the song tells are coming around, they do the loop, so you literally just cross over the road, jump in the next song tell. They're all gonna go up one way or another, so check with the driver, second road, yeah. Jumps in, it waits three or four minutes for it to fill up, and then off we go. Round a corner, tootling up. And this girl knocks, she's like she's not asking for food or anything, she's just smiling and happy. Pulls up by the Atlantic bar and he's Pressing the button, out they go. And she hasn't asked to go for a drink or food still, and he's like, oh, my room's here, and it's gonna come and crash, and she's like, yeah, yeah. Okay, down the side, up the steps, into the room, knocks right behind him, doors, he opens the door, it's not locked, as I said. He comes in, closes the door, um, light on, he says, oh, I've got to get a shower. So he goes in the shower. Um, then Knock joins him. Um, not much was said. Uh, they retire to the bed and then Solomon learns some new aerobics moves and Various things go on uh, under that category of aerobics and yoga. Eventually, fall asleep at cold. That vodka caught up with him. Don't know what time. Woke up. Solomon wakes up. It's it's just starting to get light outside, so it's probably early. It's probably only about. Half uh, five, six in the morning. And he's just sort of stirring and the light's coming through the window and he's like... Uh, he, vodka usually gives you a bit of a hangover and he, he's feeling... And he's just staring and he thinks, I need some paracetamol and water. <coughs> Luckily this room, there's a fridge and he has got some water in. I need some paracetamol. So he's he's naked. He pulls the covers back, you know, this girl knock, he knows, you can feel it on it, she's there against his arm and he's like, oh dear. Anyway, he sort of stumbles out of bed, stands up, goes across the fridge, gets a bottle of water out, there's a desk in front of him, there's a mirror, so he's, he's looking at himself naked, he's like, oh God. Opens the water, little paracetamol, Sarah tablets from the 7-Eleven and stuff, pops some tablets. Anyway, he's drinking this water and he's looking in the mirror and over his shoulder just here he can see the bed and there's Knock but it looks like there's someone else in the bed and he's like puts this down and turns around and he's looking sure enough there's someone else in the bed and he's like what? is this one of these girls have come and He's fast asleep and they've just come in and jumped in the bed. He's like, no way. 
So he walks across to that side of the bed and he pulls the cover back and you can see girl's bra here, the shoulder, and he pulls it back, looks. He's like, that's Ning. And he's like, what? I've run out of time. Oh well. Well at least I told you who it was. I could have made you wait, couldn't I? <laughs> See you on the next one. Ning. <laughs>